You know, the center back, 25-year-old from Elfsport, the uh, signing was made official. Reportedly, Leo Weissenen is supposed to be arriving in the state. Very excited to see him arrive in Austin. I think Cascante and Weissenen is the center back pairing. Hopefully can, you know, assuage a little bit of our worry and this back line. But I'm excited for Leo, man. So how about that welcome from the supporters? How'd that feel? Yeah, I know they're crazy, crazy nice fans and the stadium is always packed and it's uh, 20,000 feels like 40,000. That's what I heard and it's uh, can't wait to play in front of them. What are you going to bring to this team? Success. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can uh, help the team as uh, best as I can. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. So I'm Sean Rubio, uh, Interim Sporting Director for Austin FC. My role is a lot in player acquisition or talent management. I mean, so Leo's a player we've tracked for a long time, actually. We, we followed him for a number of years in Sweden and with the Finnish national team. And, you know, the he's just got a lot of quality. <laughs> He's, he's very comfortable on the ball. He's very smart, he's very engaged. Um, there's a physicality that I think we'll continue to develop here with our high performance team and Dave Tenney. Yeah, I mean, we've brought in a number of new faces this year. We've got, uh, we think, a pretty deep group now um, with depth across all positions, and that was really important for us. We've hopefully given Josh and Josh some good problems, right, in terms of having to pick 11 guys every day on a roster that, again, we've tried to build depth in. Um, Leo, to his credit, I think is going to be able to adapt pretty quickly. Just today, the a comment from a colleague was that it feels like he's already been here a number of years. So that gives you an idea of how quickly he's really been able to bed in with the group, both off the field and, and on the field as well. So we're, we're super excited for that. Be ready to compete. It's a game, man. It's, we don't have many of these left before the first game of the year. Let's utilize today as a real opportunity to play and hold a high standard, keep the tempo high, and go enjoy it, man. Go score goals, go enjoy today, and we'll come back next week. Keep, keep working. All right, come on. All right. This is the Austin FC logo. This is like Papa Gol. Papa Gol. Huh. Where's Papa Gol? There it is. There's no better way to start your morning, start your day, right? No, no. Can you see his little cute face? Oh, my routine is always, you know, weekends, always games all around the world. So, we're always watching soccer, football, sorry. But yeah, I'm from Costa Rica. And when I had the chance to like move to the US, it oh, was a big deal for me, for my family. I think it's always the dream of everyone in Costa Rica to try to like um, go out of the 
the country and play in like a big league. Then when I had the chance to come here to Austin, I, I had no doubt to just like, say yes and come. Centro. El cabezazo de Cascante. Gol. No puedo decir que no se lo perdimos. Julio Cascante de cabeza. Julio Cascante de cabeza. And now I don't regret it because I think it's a big city, a soccer city. I think everyone loves soccer here. When I decide to be a defender, I, I knew it was a big responsibility because it's, most of the times everything goes on us. This time, Gante doesn't take a look over his shoulder. No look over his shoulder as Fregapane picks it right off his foot. If you're Josh Wolf, if you're Austin, you're disappointed. It's hard when, when people come with hate and a lot of disrespect to you, but I focus on how to get better, to take all that criticism and put it into the, all the motivation that I have. I think Ruben is a good guy. He's an easy guy to like, have that friendship with him. And it was easy for me. It was easy for me because <laughs> He was open to, to everything. Not having him here anymore, we're gonna miss him. I'm already missing him. But I think Leo is coming, and already you can see a lot of good things from him. And the most important that he's gonna help the team. Having new guys on the team as well, uh, try to like bring them into the formations that the coach wants, and try to get them confident. That I wanna focus on on being a strong defense, so the offensive side can like feel secure. And, and focus on, they have to just score goals, that's what we need. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be shy and quiet, just like Papa. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is the nursery, which she won't need for a bit, but this was a, a team effort. Yeah, we made a little accent wall. Dresser, standard dresser, some shelves, closet, Ashley's artwork, which I like too, I'm a big fan. Um, but yeah, as you can see, baby to be in a couple weeks here is Gabriella Ray. Crib's gonna go right here, it just hasn't delivered yet. Apparently a two day freeze delays everything by about two weeks to two months, so <laughs> what can you say? So pretty soon here, we'll, uh, we'll have the newest and uh, youngest Austin FC fan. I, I think I'm nervous about the whole thing. <laughs> Having a child is, is gonna be pretty uh, nerve wracking, but at the same time, I'm just excited. My name's Nick Lima, I'm a defender, right back pretty much wherever they need me, but it's my third year with Austin FC. Being in the, in the defense or more of a defensive role might take the blame for a loss. There's always gonna be goals given up and there's always gonna be losses. And if they want someone to blame, sure, then, you know, as a defender, then blame me. But when we're there, you know, we're kind of that foundation to stand on when, when we're winning too. Defenders, you don't need the credit, nor do you want it. You can, you can kind of operate in, in that shadow when things are, are down. Okay, cool you know, bring it on. I think we showed that as the year went on. We were giving up some goals and then we started winning games. One by Lima, who's hooked it in and Ring has scored! Leads it to the cross, Lima delivers! There's the equalizer! Nick Lima, directed up and in, and it's two for Austin. Some of the new players have adapted really well. Leo is, uh, one, a really good person. He's uh, my locker mate, so I sit right next to him. So we have some good banter going already. Our defensive line is something that we're always trying to improve, so we, we have a long way to go in that process. And, and that's the fun part, though, is because that's competing. That's why we do the job. 